Ladies and gentlemen, the American Jury and Bulldog Nation, it wasn't too long back that I posted here on uh, my Facebook page, I couldn't post it on YouTube, obviously, my entire life resume biography. It's nine pages long of all the things that I've been involved in politically, business-wise, law-wise. And I'm pretty proud of it. I, I look at it and I think, my goodness, I've done a lot of different things. And I just want to do a uh, show today about that and why the system hates me so much and why I don't give a damn. Ladies and gentlemen, the American Jury and Bulldog Nation, you get the point by now. I had lunch yesterday with somebody I went to college, law school, and high school together, and we go to lunch once a month, and uh, he, was, he was laughing about some, my videos, and he says, Isn't, is, you must just love the fact that you don't care about it. Last night, I got a text from a Independence uh, native uh, who's a friend, and they said, do you, are you ever going to get a positive story in the recorder, which is owned by the Inquirer? Uh, I, said, I said, of course not. I said, the good news is I don't care. None of the Dieter's Law clients cares, and none of the Bulldog Nation fans care. Again, it's the same thing that Trump goes through on the national level. I go through on the local level, and the Durrani victims go through on a local level. Just think about it, folks. They'll do a story if I get thrown in jail for contempt. They'll do a story, the Inquirer will do a story if I get fined by a bogus commission, which by the way, it's not even final, it's not over. They will cover any and all of that all the time, but they won't cover the hospitals who bought and paid for them the Inquirer with their advertising. They won't do a story about the hospital's role in the whole Durrani saga or the civil justice system not given their trial. The Inquirer can't pick the phone up and call Maureen O'Connor, the Chief Justice of the Iowa Supreme Court, and say, what's going on here? How do, you, how do you explain that? They won't do it. Can't do it. Yesterday, the editor of the Inquirer posted a column about, you know, they're up to 30,000 digital subscribers. I, I predict, and I'm, this is my goal, I'm going to pass that up in a freaking year. I mean, this is the Inquirer. They are pathetic. They suck so bad. But folks, the whole system sucks. And I don't give a damn anymore. And you know what? Thank God, financially, I cannot give a damn anymore. And it's, it, think about it. Do you not, do you not connect the dots? I know Bulldog Nation does. You can't connect the dots between this. My becoming the, one of the largest law firms in Northern Kentucky, raising hell, fighting the causes, going after the hospitals, going after everything I was going after. And the whole legal community decided, well, we got to get that guy. And they tried to destroy me and it didn't work. Kentucky tried to get me, Ohio, the whole civil justice system, the whole bar association apparatus, Ohio, Kentucky, they try to define you and label you. And the gloves are off. I don't give a damn. And you can see what I do works. And you know what? I do stuff that other people are too chicken shit to do. And I'm proud of that. And I'm going to keep doing it. I'm going to keep doing it. But you see, they want to destroy somebody like me because I speak up and out. Do you think the tri-state hospitals want me to have a platform? Do you think they want me saying what I do, post what I do? Do you think the judges and the lawyers in this community like me posting and saying what I do about them and their profession, how criminal lawyers scare you to take your money, how domestic relations lawyers churn it to make money, how defense lawyers bill, 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 how judges are bought and paid for. I mean, do you think they want to hear that? I am their worst freaking nightmare because they can't fire me. They can't do anything to me. I don't give a damn about my law license. In fact, not having my law license allows me to say and do what I do. It's great. Add to the fact that you got a little bit of money. Oh, my God. 
I am going to put a billboard in Frankfurt that says the Kentucky Bar Association sucks. And I will continue to speak out against the corruption. I will continue to fight back against all of it. And in fact, I want to encourage you. If you know somebody, you got a story, it's you, a family member, who has been a victim of grave injustice of the system. Text me, 859-250-2527, or email me at eric at ericdieters.com. That's who I want to interview. I don't need to interview famous people. You, uh, by the way, do you think there's some people out there that don't want to come on my show because how it might affect their, oh, I, Bulldog, I don't want to. I want to interview little guys who are victims of the whole crap. People like Sean Vinceroy, Sean Vinceroy that did this. We posted the video. The Children's Hospital killed her baby. That's what I'm all about. That's what I want to keep doing. This is the Bulldog. Every dog has their day. Have a great day.